Hi there. Today I'm going to answer the question of how many times are a clock's hands at 45 degrees in a 24 hour day. And the clock's hands that I'm interested in are the hour hand and the minute hand, which is the two black hands that are on this clock. And if we start there at uh, 12 midnight, then the first time that the clock's hands are at 45 degree, that angle between the two hands is a 45 degree angle, is here at 12.08 in the morning. And if I put a protractor on those, um, on those uh, two hands, you can see there that uh, approximately it's at, uh, it's running pretty well through the uh, 45 degree um, angle there between those two hands. Yep. And so the next time, the next time they're at uh, 45 degrees, the angle between the two hands is here at 12.57. Yep, I've done about 12.57. And I'll put the uh, protractor back on. And you can see there that, uh, you know, approximately the angle there is running through that uh, 45 degrees mark on the protractor, which means the angles are at 45 degrees at about 12.57. Now the next time is um, around here at 1.14, 45 degree angle, and then the next time is at 2.03. Yep, 2.03, and then the fifth is around here at 2.20. Now the question is, how many times are a clock's hands at 45 degrees in a 24 hour day? So if you want to think about the answer, then click on the pause button in the bottom left hand corner. Otherwise, I'm going to go straight in to the answer. Now the obvious answer is that the hands are at 45 degrees twice every hour, and there are 24 hours in a day. So the hands must be at 45 degrees 48 times in a 24 hour day, which is, you know, 24 times two. But that answer is not correct. And the actual answer is 44 times. Yes, 44 times that the hands on a clock are at 45 degrees in a 24 hour day. And it's only 44 times because rather than being twice every uh, 60 minutes or twice every hour, which is uh, the assumption, it's actually twice every 65 or 66 minutes. Um, and I'll show you why. You can see there that 45 degrees at 12.08 was the first time. And the next time they're at 45 degrees is here at 12.57. And then the third time, the third time is here at, uh, is actually here at 1.14. And if it was every, if it was every uh, 60 minutes, then we would actually see them being at 45 degrees here at 1.08, which is exactly 60 minutes on from 12.08, which was the first time they're at 45 degrees. But we've actually got to turn the clock handle another six minutes uh, to get to 1.14 for the hands to be at 45 degrees again. So it's actually, um, you can see there that it's twice every 66 minutes in in this example. And then again, I'll show you the next time. The next time is at 2.03. And then the time again is uh, 2.03. You can see they're at 45 degrees, yep. And then the next time they're at 45 degrees isn't here at 2.14 which is uh, exactly one hour on from 1.14, which is the last time, or the, the time, two times ago that they were at 45 degrees. You've actually got to go on another six minutes again and get to 2.20 for the hands again to be at 45 degrees. So you can see there that it's twice every 65 or 66 minutes uh, that the hands are at 45 degrees. Okay, so the exact time then is uh, it's twice every 65 minutes and 27 seconds. But for the purpose of this video, then I'm rounding it to the uh, to the nearest uh, minute. 
um, and and for those first two example is that you're showing it that it was lining up twice every 66 minutes. Now I'm going to show you a simple grid that will help it explain it further and it shows all the times uh, during a 24 hour day when the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand is at 45 degrees and you can see there that uh, those first few times up in the top of the uh, the grid there are the times that I showed you on the clock um, and you can see there that that goes right through till 11.52 in the morning and there's 22 different times when the, uh, the angle between the two clocks hands is at 45 degrees and then those numbers just repeat in the afternoon you sort of change the AM to the PM and you get the same number in the same times um, in the afternoon, evening and into the night. And I guess what's interesting is that uh, when you look at it, you've got probably got a 49 minute difference between the first two and then it's only another 17 minutes until the next time, another 49 minutes and only 17 to the next one and yeah, and so forth like that. Um, and that one might have been 48 and 17 there so that gives you you know usually 66 minutes between every second one but uh, sometimes it's only 65 minutes because um, with a bit of rounding because the exact difference is uh, 65 minutes and 27 seconds okay well i hope you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching and goodbye for now